Hello Unix fans, it's Dr. Dave Gatros, and standing beside me is Mr. Jared Knorr who we're going to create a... Hey, say, wait a minute. Hello. We're going to create a, a CS account for him and we're going to be use, using the uh, Bitvice software. So we'll bring that up. We'll start Bitvice and I've already installed it. And uh, this is uh, how you're going to do it. So we want to log into shell.cs.fsu.edu and when you're creating an account you don't enter your username. You're going to say new account N-E-W-A-C-C-T. Okay, got that? If you ever have to do this again. Okay. And we're going to say enter. Okay. So it's going to come up and it's going to say, well, this is an authorized use banner. You want to get rid of that. Okay. Get rid of this. And it comes up with uh, what account do you want to? And it'll either come up with password, it'll come up with GSS API dash with Mike. You want always want password. When you're generating an account, the password is new account. Now you're not going to see it, so if you get a little paranoid, you can re-enter it. New account, enter in the same thing again, and say OK. It will bring up the FSU uh, 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 shell for uh, the Unix uh, system, and you're going to say, what is Magic's password? It is new account. So we're in, you're not going to see the password typed in, you're not going to see fake characters come up. You just got to remember to type in. So I just typed in e -D -N -E -W -A -C -C -T and I'm going to hit enter. Now it's going to go through the account generation software. It's going to enter your family name. That's usually your last name. And in this case it's uh, Nor, K-N-O-R-R. -R. Okay, that's correct? Yes. All right. Your parents spelled it right too, right? Yes. Okay, very good. Very good. Hit enter. It's going to say your first name, your given name, some people call it the Christian name. And it says uh, optional middle initial, we'll put K. Uh, is this correct? Is this correct? Okay, yes. You just type uh, enter Y and hit enter. Now it wants your identity number. I always put the, uh, uh, the dash in here, but uh, um, 298 dash 290. Okay, and hit enter. Is this correct? Yes. All right. Y and hit enter. Enter your FSU ID. On yours is JKK16, correct? Yes. Okay. Is this correct? Yes. Boom. All right. Now, uh, you're going to be authorized to use the Majors account on Shell and uh, the Linprog machines. You're authorized to use the Majors lab in the basement of the lower building. Uh, for more information on you can go to our lab. So hit key. And it's just going to ask you a lot of questions. And it's going to go through a series of uh, verifications to uh, make sure you know the rules. And we'll go over them. Uh, the following is the policy. And you must agree to this policy in order to receive an account. Please read the policy carefully as you're responsible for knowing it and obeying it. The policy is also available on our main web server at www.cs.fsu.edu. Hit any key. And that any key. There is not an any key on the board, just any key. Um, uh, Computer Science Department, Florida State University operates, maintains a group of servers, and talks about the servers. There's disclaimers, and I'm just going to go through these. You you can read them as you go along. Um, they don't want you to. It's primarily for educational purposes. You're not supposed to uh, use it for any personal gain. Uh, we don't accept any responsibility for loss of data, theft, or damage. Has no warranty, expressed or implied, regarding the computer services offered or their fitness for any particular purpose. Uh, let's see, the next one is available to the faculty, staff, students, and generally without charge. Uh, only properly authorized persons may access the facilities. You may not permit any other person, including all other authorized users, to access your computing facilities through your account. Okay, and then uh, you have uh, a lot of responsibilities. Okay, here are more responsibilities uh, in general and there's a synopsis and you just keep going through this don't let uh, the software used on the departments operate under license agreement through ATT and Sun Microsystems okay infractions okay now it says I've read and understand it when you hit this key right here it's going to say type agree upper and upper cases A G R E E and you hit enter now it's going to go through and it's going to generate your account. Now here's the problem. 
you're going to sit here and it's going to generate the account and it's going to ask you to enter in a password and I'm going to ask Jared here to uh, write down the password he wants to use it has to be at least eight characters there must be at least one uppercase one lowercase letter there must be at least one letter and one special character okay okay yeah okay okay this is a two okay all right so we've got the password so I'm going to enter it in here which is a hell of a password is it congratulations you know that's Okay, I entered that. Now I'm going to type again. Now notice you're not seeing anything appear on the screen. Okay, uh, and that's kind of uh, uh, unnerving to some people. Now, if I made a mistake, and I may have made a mistake that time. Okay, no, it didn't pair. I did. That, it would have had me redo the whole thing again, and that's a kind of a same thing. Okay, now. Good for password. Remember your account uh, is NOR. It's going to put your username up there. It's usually some combination of your last name and first characters of your first name. And what you want to do is, this is very important, wait here for that connection to close. You want to make sure that it stops and the script finishes. Otherwise, the account isn't generated properly. So there it goes away. Now we're going to test the account. I'm going to have Mr. NOR come over here and test this out. We're going to do shell. And we're going to put in K-N-O-R-R. -R, okay. And we're going to say, well, we're going to, we're going to log out of this first. Okay. Now we're going to log in. And I'm going to have him type it. So get rid of that banner. Okay. Now, you remember the password you just typed in. If I typed it incorrectly. Hold on. Okay. Let me try it again. All right, now this could be what most of you are seeing. It sometimes takes uh, several minutes for the uh, password to actually tell code. Let's pause this a little while and let's wait a little bit to see if this is going to work out. We'll try it again. Um, just to finish up, the uh, student uh, had to leave here. Um, what I want you to do is uh, to try to log into your account. Um, uh, wait about uh, 10 or 15 minutes before you do it because what it has to do it has to populate your username and passwords to a few other computers and that may take a few minutes and if you uh, try your username and password too many times it may lock you out of the account so uh, this is how actually how you set up an account um, give that a try if you have any problems give us a call we'll see if we can get it fixed uh, anyway good luck